This episode of The Essential Oil Revolution is brought to you by Audible. Check out audibletrial.com forward slash revolution oils for a special gift just for you. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com, you can pick your first audiobook for free. If you're looking for something really fun and inspiring to listen to, I recommend Born to Run, a hidden tribe, super athletes, and the greatest race the world has never seen by Christopher McDougall. This book is so much fun. It actually inspired me to run, which is very hard to do because I hate running, but it's a great book. It tells the tale of uh, super athletes from around the world and a amazing tribe of runners in a very small part of the world. A great read, super helpful, and any runner or non-runner will love it. So that's Born to Run if you're looking for something great to listen to. Again, to get your free audiobook, go to audibletrial.com forward slash revolution oils. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Zig Ziglar. Empowerment in education. Two powerful elements that will help you break free of convention and transform your passion for wellness to a level beyond the status quo. The Essential Oil Revolution, where you're given the tools to supersede an ordinary everyday lifestyle. Inspiring speakers, DIY recipes, healthy living tips, and more. You'll discover it all here. So tune in and get ready for a wellness revolution. For show notes and more, go to revolutionoils.com slash podcast. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Samantha Lee Wright, and you're listening to The Essential Oil Revolution. If this is your first time here, I just want to welcome you to the show. On the show, we talk a lot about essential oils, but also we talk about nutrition and health and just how to live the healthiest life that you can. We also talk about taking control of your health. We really want to put you in the driver's seat of your own health experience and give you the tools to be able to take charge and make decisions for yourself and your family that are going to make your life great. All are welcome on the essential oil revolution. However, be aware that we do talk mostly about young living essential oils here on the podcast. We at Revolution Oils believe that Young Living is a phenomenal company that produces some of the most authentic, most therapeutic, powerful essential oils in the world. They're a wonderful company that really focuses on quality, authenticity, integrity, and sustainability. So it's everything that we want to stand for. And that's why we focus mostly on Young Living Oils here on the show. If you'd like to learn more about Young Living or how to get started using essential oils, you can check out our free three-part video course at freeoilcourse.com to learn everything you need to know to get started using essential oils right. So I am super excited to be sharing today's episode with you. I got to interview a colleague of mine who we actually met online a couple of years ago, and she wrote a guest post for me all about one of my favorite topics of all time, which is butter and healthy fats. And she wrote a, an amazing article for me, and I just really fell in love with her work. And now flash forward to today, she is now the creator of a very successful weight loss program that has really been changing people's lives in such an amazing, powerful way. I mean, you will not even believe the stories that she's going to share with you about the people that have gone through her. It's just a five-day weight loss program. Now, weight loss isn't something that we really talk about a lot on the show, and that's why when I wanted to do this topic, I really wanted Amanda Pickering to interview about this topic because we're really on the same page as far as this area goes. And this episode's not so much about weight loss as it is about becoming your healthiest version of yourself, which a result of that is weight loss. So for those that are listening that want an amazing program that's going to help them lose weight and also help them achieve their optimal health, this is a phenomenal episode just for you. 
So I can't wait for Amanda to share the Triple Five program and all about it with you. And we're also going to talk about the challenges and the hurdles that people come across when doing any sort of weight loss program and how essential oils can help you overcome those hurdles. So you'll hear from Amanda first talking about the Triple Five program, and then we'll switch the mic around, and Amanda's going to ask me how essential oils can help with some of these common hurdles that her participants can come across when doing the weight loss program. But first, as always, let's pull a recipe out of our DIY dugout. This recipe comes from Kelly at thebloomingcarrot.com, and it is for the best DIY hair conditioning spray. I'm super excited to try this on my daughter's hair because it is crazy, crazy wild curly hair. So to make the best DIY hair conditioning spray, you'll need one ounce spray bottle, five drops of geranium essential oil, five drops lavender, and five drops of rosemary essential oil oil, witch hazel, and distilled water. Add essential oils in a splash of witch hazel to your spray bottle. Fill the rest of the way with distilled water. Make sure to leave room to insert your sprayer. Shake well before using. Spray onto wet or dry hair. Thanks so much, Kelly. I am definitely going to be making this soon. You can check out more of Kelly's amazing recipes at thebloomingcarrot.com. I've been loving all of these DIY recipes, you guys, so keep them coming. Email us at revolutionoilspodcast at gmail.com with your favorite DIY recipe or even just your favorite diffuser blend of oils. Just make sure to include your name, your recipe, and a website if you choose. That's revolutionoilspodcast at gmail.com. All right, on to the show. Well, hi, everyone. I'm here with Amanda Pickering, all the way from London, and she's going to share with us about her amazing Triple Five weight loss program. And we're going to tie in talking about essential oils and weight loss and Triple Five and nutrition and all the good things. So thanks, Amanda, for joining us today. I'm so excited you're here. Oh, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be with you today. We kind of go back in the day a bit. Mm. And we connected over nutrition um, before I was really into the essential oils. And I've just always been so drawn to the way that you teach. It's such a (laughs) no-nonsense, no-holds-bar sort of approach to nutrition and wellness. And I just just love it. And I love your story. But for those that don't know you already, do you want to just share your story about how this journey began for you? Sure, I will. Um, Yeah, I think my no-nonsense approach comes from my parents. They're both Egyptian, and Egyptians are very well known for being quite um, to the point. (laughs) So I think I probably picked that up, especially from my mother. Um, But yeah, I mean, it's been quite a journey for me. I think I've probably had more health issues than most people have in their lifetime before I was 20. So I had um, glandular fever when I was 16. I developed anxiety disorder, which I had for about five years, which turned into... um, agoraphobia and obsessive compulsive disorder. And I also had an overactive thyroid for a few years that I was struggling with, chronic fatigue, and also an ovarian cyst the size of a grapefruit, which had to be removed. So that was all before I was 20. And on top of that, I was 25 pounds overweight. So because of all these health issues, I kind of went on a mission trying to find solutions to to kind of all these different problems. So when I was about at 21, 22, I learned everything I could about health, sickness, disease, nutrition. And really, I changed my entire life by changing what I thought and how I ate. And as a result, I healed from every single sickness about three years ago. And um, I lost 25 pounds in the process. Um, so that's a very shortened version of um, my kind of health journey. But then I started sharing my journey kind of with the world on social media about a year ago. And um, the number one question that people kept asking me was, how do you lose weight? How do I lose this weight? How do I lose this belly fat? How do I get into shape? So really, Triple Five came out of deciding to package everything I've learned about weight loss and healing from sickness naturally and put it into like one program to help people lose weight safely and hopefully not have to go through the long process that I did to get there. Wow, what a story. Now, there's so many weight loss programs out there 
Mm -hmm. This is like a very saturated market. And I know there's a ton of misconceptions surrounding weight loss programs. So I want you to touch on that. And and also, can you talk about why is it so hard for people to achieve their weight loss goals? Sure. Yeah. So there's, there's so many myths out there about, about weight loss and there's so many weight loss programs. And it's not to say that any of those, you know, there's a place for all of them, but the problem is, I think the number one issue is that people get stuck on counting calories. I'm sure everyone has seen those things in the supermarkets or what do you guys call it there? Yeah. We it, calorie. Oh, supermarket, supermarket. Yeah. 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 Grocery yeah. store, supermarket. Grocery <laughs> stores. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With those hundred calorie kind of, uh, biscuits or you know treats oh we don't call them biscuits we call them cookies <laughs> oh sorry cookies. Yeah. <laughs> so like you know all that stuff that you see in the grocery stores where it says like 100 calories this or less than 100 calories and everything is geared towards that and it's because we think that if we eat a um, few calories and we work out enough then we're going to lose weight but the problem with that is that all calories are not created equal you know you could have an apple, which is about 80 calories, and you could have a cookie that's about the same amount, but your body is going to process that and assimilate it in two totally different ways. Mm. So that's one of the major problems with a lot of weight loss programs out there is that they calorie count. And they, there's also, from what I've heard from people that have done triple five, especially is that there's always a way to cheat the system, especially when it's like a point system. So you end up actually eating if you want to have those cookies and you want to have the, like the things full of artificial sweeteners, you can trick the system and do it. And that doesn't really work. And the other major issue is that so many plans out there advocate this kind of low fat, high carb diet. Um, and you've probably heard me say this before, Sam, but low fat always, almost always means high sugar if it's mm-hmm. a processed food. And actually sugar is one of the number one reasons why people put on weight and get sick. So Those are just a couple of things that cause major problems when people are trying to lose weight. And then in terms of like why people struggle to actually achieve weight loss, I would say that often, you know, they're set up to fail in many ways. Like a lot of um, weight loss programs or diets are totally unsustainable. It's basically putting your body into starvation mode. Um, You're eating such few calories or food that you don't enjoy or you feel deprived that your body goes into starvation mode and starts holding on to the fat that you're trying to lose because it thinks that there's basically a famine coming and people Mm. are just not eating enough Mm -hmm. for their body to be able to actually burn fat. And so one of the things that I was really passionate about was giving people a plan that actually allows them to eat lots of food and lose weight. So yeah, I think one of the other issues is that people just don't have a great support system or accountability. So they feel like they're on their own. They feel like they're doing it by themselves. And they also don't have someone to kind of say like, so how are things going today? What are you struggling with? What can be done to support you? So I think that the combination of it being unsustainable and not having a support system and not eating enough, it's kind of a recipe for failure for most people. And most people just don't have a plan and they don't know where to start. So they'll go, okay, I need to eat less calories. I need to eat lettuce all day. I need to work out like crazy. And within three days, they're like, forget this. It's too yeah. difficult. So yeah. Or like you said, it doesn't even work because that's just not, that's not the way the body works with exactly. calories. And yeah, exactly. So then what makes triple five different from a lot of the other programs that are out there? Well, I would say that I really believe that there's three things you need to like achieve sustained weight loss. And one of those things is a strong why, like you need to know why you want to lose weight and really tap into that. And it's not just, you know, most people when I ask them that will say like, Oh, I want to look good in a bikini or I want to fit into size, whatever jeans. And that's not your why that's like a byproduct of losing weight. So like I get people to go a lot deeper and think about why they really want to lose weight. And then people get often get quite emotional because they realize that actually it's because they want to be able to run around with their kids or they want to live as long as possible so they can be with, you know, their spouse or, you know, they want to be able to travel more or whatever it is. And when you connect with that, you're so much more likely to succeed. And then the second thing is having a plan that works. That's super important and sustainable. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also having accountability and support. So what I did with triple five is I brought those three things together and put them into a weight loss system. And I always say it's weight loss system, not a diet because we're teaching longevity here. And I also teach people 
why certain foods make your body hold on to weight and cause or can contribute to sickness. I don't just tell people what not to eat and what to eat. I, I try, really try and empower people. That's something I'm really passionate about so that they know why those things aren't good for them. And then it's no longer relying on willpower. You know, like knowledge is power. Once you know why something isn't good for you or what it's doing to your body, it's much easier to kind of say no to the cookies or, you know, to the chips Mm -hmm. because you know what it's doing in your body. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that's um, different about Triple Five is I've not just given you foods and a plan that help you lose weight, but I've really cut out all the inflammatory foods that can enhance disease in your body and make your body hold on to weight. So what I'm trying to do is like a lot of weight loss programs try and trick people's body into weight loss. And I don't want to do that. I want to love on the body. I want to give it what it's, what it needs. And then it naturally starts to let go of of the weight because we're healing it at such a cellular level. So I would say that that's one of the things that's really different from the other things out there. And then obviously we don't count calories. We don't eat packaged foods. And you get to eat meat, you get to eat lots of fat, because as you know, I'm a massive advocate for that. Mm -hmm. And there's no complicated recipes to follow. Like you choose what you want to eat. I just give you the parameters to do it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. That There's just so, like everything you said there, there's so many correlations between your program and sort of what we teach on this podcast and about essential oils, because Yeah. yeah, essential oils, they they don't work the same as like pharmaceuticals and a lot of people Mm. want them to, but, and I think kind of similar to some maybe other weight loss programs, it's where it's sort of tricking the body into losing weight and, but it's not sustainable and it causes long-term harm. And with essential oils, it actually goes in and and cleanses the body. And and like Gary Young says, if you give the body what it needs, the body will heal itself. And that's sort of what essential oils do. And, and I'm kind of picking up on that's what triple five does as well. It teaches teaches the body what it needs and gives the body what it needs so that it can heal itself and lose the weight if that's what your body needs. Absolutely. So just like you said, like we're focusing on what it needs to heal naturally and then let go of the weight rather than trying to force it into submission. And and like you said, like we're not trying, if someone doesn't have weight to lose, triple five is not going to work for them. And that's actually something I'm, I'm really excited and proud of because I, I really don't want to advocate like a negative relationship with food or self-image. This is for people that have five pounds to lose or 50 pounds to lose. But if you're already underweight, this is going to bring you to a healthy weight which Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about. Oh, that's fantastic. So can you just briefly go through what are the five, it's five steps, right? Mm -hmm. Five. So what are the five steps and then what kind of results have people been getting already? Sure. Yeah. I probably should have said that triple five is stands for five steps to lose up to five pounds in five days. And basically the program has three components. There's a digital download, which is a 14 page book, which walks you through the entire system. There's also bonus videos that are in our private Facebook group, which is the third component. And that's really for support and accountability. And I also do live Facebook group calls in there as well, because you can do that now. Um, so yeah, there's five steps. What They're very simple. It, the first step is what not to eat. And like I said, I educate on why. The second step is what to eat. The third step is when to eat and how much to eat. Um, and one thing I do is I give people food lists rather that they then choose how to kind of put their food together. Because what I found when I was trying to lose weight was when you purchase a weight loss program, they have all these recipes and it's just so overwhelming. Mm. You know, you have to go to the supermarket and buy all this stuff and every recipe has so many different ingredients and it's so expensive. So I've tried to make it as affordable and easy for people to implement as possible. Um, so the, yeah, the third step is when to eat and how much. And then the fourth step is talking about sleep and water and the importance of that with weight loss. And then the fifth one is about exercise. And then we talk about how to sustain the weight loss afterwards. Um, So that's kind of briefly how the steps work. The biggest thing that people have said to me from doing triple five is, do I really have to eat that much food? (laughs) 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 People get so freaked out and think, oh my gosh, like I've been eating 1200 calories a day and I can't shift one pound. And now you want me to eat so much more than that. But what's incredible, and I, I really am amazed by this because I, you know, it's five steps to do up to five pounds in five days. The average weight loss so far has been 6.6 pounds and five inches in five days. Wow. Six pounds in five days. 
is, yeah. is just the average you're getting. That's the average. Yeah. I mean, it's ranging. I mean, the most we've had is I think about 12 pounds. In five obviously- days? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. And obviously that's dependent on how much weight you have to lose to right. start with. So obviously if you're more like quite overweight, then the weight will drop off quicker initially. But you know, what's been so incredible is that people who have been trying to lose weight for like 20 years who have just not seen the scale move are finally starting to see lasting change. And lasting change is really important to me because this isn't just water weight. This is your body being healed on a deep cellular level and then realizing it's safe and okay to let go of that weight. So that's what's so exciting about this. And the other thing that's been amazing is we've tested triple five on women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which basically it means it's very hard for women to lose weight because there's a lot of hormonal issues going on. And every single person in the test group that did it lost weight. And it was between three and 10 pounds again, And what was really touching to me was two women who hadn't had a period in two years started their period after five days of doing triple five. And that was incredible to me because it was like, that is happening at such a deep kind of level. Um, It wasn't really something I planned to help people with. Yeah. But when the body heals, everything heals, you know, as Charlotte Gerson says. So, and then the other things is just energy levels have absolutely doubled which has been incredible. People often start off at like a three or a four out of 10. And by the end of the five days, they just feel like this lo- this fog has lifted mm. and they're at like an eight or a nine and they're feeling happier and more confident. So I've been astounded at the results. I mean, I knew it worked. I just didn't expect that people would get, you know, six, sometimes 10 pounds and, you know, their, their whole kind of inner physiology changing, which is really exciting for me. Mm. So amazing. So really it's so much more than a weight loss program. And I mean, maybe that's kind of how you're marketing it and putting it out there. And that's why people come to it, Mm -hmm. but it seems like it's so much more than that, which is what I love about it. Absolutely. I mean, you you hit the nail on the head. I'm always trying to advocate for like a holistic lifestyle, but people, when they have weight to lose, (laughs) often don't care about that stuff. They're like, just tell me how to lose the the pounds, you know? But once they lose the pounds and they start, they realize that they've actually been feeling rubbish their entire lives. And they didn't even know that there's a whole nother level of energy and vitality and health that's available to them. And that to me is what's so exciting. Like the weight's one thing, but to see somebody then realize that, oh my gosh, if I can lose weight after 20 years of trying or 10 years of trying, what else can I do? Mm. That's what gets me really excited. Mm, I just got goosebumps there. (laughs) Well, great. Well, that just sounds so amazing. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the challenges that people are facing with this program or any weight loss program. I think there's always going to be challenges. And I think, you know, instead of just talking about how good and great and effective it is, let's give people that realistic expectation of of what hurdles are going to come across. Absolutely. You're totally right. It's never plain sailing. I would say, I mean, like you say with any weight loss program, but particularly what I've seen with triple five is some of the, one of the biggest things is self-sabotage. Like, and I describe self-sabotage as people doing things to get themselves back to what they think they deserve. And very often people start off, you know, doing really well. And then they're like, nope, this isn't going to work for me. And then they, they start eating like crazy and then it gets to day five and then they're like, okay, I'm going to start again. And then they do great because I support them around that, especially in the Facebook group. But it's definitely an issue that I see a lot with weight issues. And the other thing is um, withdrawal symptoms, especially in the first couple of days, because we're taking out things like artificial sweeteners and sugar and wheat and uh, processed dairy and that kind of thing. People if they've been eating those things for a long time, the first couple of days can be really rough. And then also like detoxing. So people end up having headaches. Often on the first couple of days, they can be quite tired. Now this is totally dependent on your health when you started. Some people don't get much of this and some people get it bad. And it's really like coaching them through the first, the first two days, like it's going to get better. And now by the third day, you know, they kind of wake up and they're, they're feeling a bit more like themselves. And then I would just say the last thing is self-doubt, you know, people feeling like they don't have what it takes and that's really, you know, confidence issues, but it's tough. You know, those things can really halt someone's journey and say, 
honestly, if I'm being totally real with you, some people have bought triple five and have never even come into the Facebook group. And I don't think they've even tried it. They've purchased it. And then for whatever reason, they've decided, which I believe is probably self doubt issues that, oh, this isn't going to work for me. And they're off. So Mm -hmm. it's understandable. It seems Mm -hmm. scary to do, but you mentioned the Facebook group a couple of times. Now, is that a support group that anyone can join or is that just reserved for people who purchase triple five? And sure. That's, I mean, I I have a general Facebook page, which I I post a lot of kind of helpful stuff on and do live videos, but this, this group is just just for people that have purchased triple five. So it's a smaller group. It's a safe group because a lot of people, when it comes to weight loss, don't like to post things publicly. I find that a lot. So this is like a kind of safe, supportive group where only the people within that group can see what's being posted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. I think that support that you add onto the program is such a game changer, Mm. such a game changer. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Well, so I know one of the reasons that you wanted to um, talk to me and, and why we are putting this episode out there is that that some of these uh, common hurdles and struggles, essential oils can actually really help with and be very effective to help with. So um, why don't we sort of turn the mic around and have you ask me some questions about essential oils and yeah. you know, what are some of those those things that you feel like your people just need more support with? Sure. Yeah. I'd love to. I mean, Sam, you're such an expert in this field. Like I'm learning so much from you already about essential oils and I've, you know, had my eyes open to like what it can do to support people in their health in general, but also with weight loss. So I kind of wanted to ask you about like what oils can help people when it comes to things like, for example, detox symptoms, like the headaches and Mm -hmm. tiredness and Mm -hmm. feeling lethargic. Yeah. So I think the first oil that comes to mind for me would be peppermint and Mm -hmm. and peppermint vitality, which is the internal uh, usage oil that Young Living has. It's absolutely one of my favorite oils. It does so many things, but I'd say probably probably the most go-to things for peppermint for me are those detox symptoms like the mild headache, like the digestive upsets. So Mm -hmm. just incorporating that peppermint oil from the beginning, I think could be super helpful and not a lot and not too much because that's kind of a interesting thing that will happen for someone that does have a lot of illness in the body and a lot of toxins. And if they're completely new to essential oils, then the essential oils themselves can actually cause some of that detoxing it, you know, on its own. So you want to be kind of mindful of that, that if you're already having detox symptoms from triple five, and then you're throwing a bunch of essential oils on there, which you're new to, then it could potentially exaggerate things. So just Mm -hmm. trying to find the balance with that. So I'd say, you know, just start out with one or two drops of peppermint Mm -hmm. um, or peppermint vitality. And one of my favorite ways to do this is to put just a drop of peppermint vitality on your thumb and press that thumb to the roof of your mouth to hit that top of the the mouth. And that is like the money shot, I call it, for (laughs) that mild headache that you're having. For some people, it just, boom, takes it away like that. It's kind of amazing. amazing. Yeah. And would that help with any type of headache, whether it's a detox headache or just a headache in general? Well, I'll say to stay FDA compliant, all I'll say is it can help with those occasional mild headaches. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, got it. (laughs) And so can you put the peppermint in like water? as well or is it just to put on the roof of the mouth is yeah, that the best? yeah you can do it in water or tea as well I always say if you add any oils to water just add a little dollop of honey or maple syrup to help it disperse in the water or mm-hmm. just make sure you shake it really well before each sip because if not the oil is just going to float on the top of the water and then you'll get it all in one one down. Okay. So yeah, and it's super tasty to do to do that. So that would be my first go-to for those detox symptoms that people mm-hmm. have. But another really great one for that is also lavender. So lavender is just 
very calming oil for your body, for your mind, you know, on a cellular level, it's very calming for your body. So adding that, either adding the lavender vitality to your drink or just rubbing lavender on your stomach, I think could be really helpful or down the, down your spine. So when you do sure. that, just mix it with a little bit of carrier oil, like a coconut oil or olive oil even, and um, add a couple drops and slap that on your stomach or your back. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And when you're rubbing it onto your stomach, how is that like, is it how is it getting into your system, if that makes sense? Well, one thing that essential oils are so, that makes them so special is that they absorb into your skin, through your pores, and get into your bloodstream so effectively. I mean, anything that you put onto your body is going to eventually absorb and go into your bloodstream. But mm -hmm. essential oils, the molecules are so tiny, tiny microscopic that it's just amazing how quickly it absorbs into your skin, reaches the bloodstream, and then and then benefits your entire body. So I was oh. actually, I was at a talk the other day and someone was saying, that one drop of essential oil contained enough molecules that it fed every single cell in your body with, I want to say she said like 40 million molecules per wow. cell in your body. Like just <laughs> astounding. It's just, it blows your mind like how... Insane how insanely tiny these molecules are. I mean, so small that they can pass your blood brain barrier. And that is such a rare thing. I mean, pharmaceutical companies have been saying for years, like if we could just figure out how to get past that <laughs> blood brain barrier, we could cure everything. And, uh, and I'm like, dude, essential oils, they can yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. It's, it's amazing. The power in like one little drop. It is it's insane. Yeah. So, so go easy, not too much. Yeah, like, cause definitely I, go easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and definitely you, I mean, we talk about this to death on the show, but definitely use a high quality essential oil because if you're not, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but 96 to 95% of essential oils on the market right now are adulterated, which means they're either made out of completely synthetic chemicals or they've got additives in them or just the process of them being made. It's not really the true therapeutic quality that you need. So, you know, if you're slapping on a bunch of fake scents and chemicals that are disguised as essential oils, that's not going to help that process. It's going to make it worse. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, you read my mind. I was about to ask the exact quest, same okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And how about a lot of people say that they struggle to sleep when, they, when they're just like trying triple five for the first time? Is there any kind of oils that can help with restful sleep? Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, essential oils are so good for that. We actually have an entire episode dedicated to sleep. So if, if someone has time and they're really struggling with that area, then I recommend going back and listening to, I think it was episode 19 mm -hmm. that um, we did on sleep and essential oils. And we talk a lot more, uh, we talk about more than just essential oils for that episode. So people might find yeah. that helpful. But um, but yeah, there's tons of essential oils that can help with sleep. I'd say my favorite sleep blend that I make is three parts lavender, two parts cedarwood, and one part vetiver, which is kind of a, a rare oil. A lot of people don't know about vetiver, but it's just this really mm. deep, deep scent. And it's very grounding and it's very strong though. So it's, you don't put mm -hmm. as much vetiver in as lavender. <laughs> and for those that have young living vetiver, they know that it comes out super thick and it's like, they're, they're trying to get it out of the bottle right. and they're holding it, the bottle upside down. They're like, it's not coming out. And they start shaking. So it's a very thick oil. <laughs> so a trick here is before you go to drop your vetiver, stick it in your bra or like in your pocket for a, like an hour. So it warms up a little bit. And then it comes out super easily. Oh, oh, oh yeah. that's a great so, tip. And when you mix those three together, how do you do that? Is it in a carrier oil or? Yeah. So I love to make these roller balls. So you can buy these like empty roller balls on Amazon or on abundanthealthforyou.com. That's a really great resource site. And mm -hmm. you can mix up your own mixes. So you just add a little bit of carrier oil and then top it off with your oils. And then it's just ready to go and, and you can roll it on like the bottom of your feet is a really good place for bedtime or like on your temple or your neck somewhere that you'll kind of smell it a lot. 
So there's that way. Or you could put that same mixture just in your diffuser and put your diffuser next to your bed and maybe try to elevate it a little bit. So if you can elevate your diffuser so the oil sort of drops down onto you, that's one way to do it. Cool. Okay. You know? So that's my sleep blend. But it's interesting with sleep, everyone's got their blend, you know, that's going to work for them. Like my husband, that blend doesn't really do much for him, but there's a, a blend called Peace and Calming that Young Living makes. It's got like tangerine, orange, Ling Ling, patchouli, Ooh. blue tansy. It's, it's, I love it. I love Peace and Calming. It's one of my favorites, but it doesn't really do it for me as far as sleep. But my husband, man, it conks him out like, <laughs> like that. So it's kind of funny. You got to find what works for you. Yeah, no, I just got a diffuser recently and um, a young living one. And oh, oh. It's amazing. Isn't it so much fun? Oh, it's so much fun. And it just fills the room. Like before, like I had candles, but they, I'm sure they were very toxic. And it's just so nice to have those kind of smells going through the house. It's so gentle, but it's so like calming and beautiful. I love it. And I love the color. Mine like lights up blue. <laughs> yeah, I love the color too. They're great. They're fun. So I just encourage people to experiment with the sleep thing. Like I had a, a one of my customers, she wrote me like a week after she'd gotten her starter kit. And she says, oh my gosh, I hadn't slept that well in years. And wow. she didn't even like, she was just sort of putting in what, what felt good to her, which ended up being, I think, lavender and citrus fresh, which is like a, lots of different citrus oils, which mm -hmm. I thought was funny. I always think of the citrus oils as being very energizing and awakening. Mm. But, you know, for her, mixed with the lavender, it, it worked for her. It's great. Brilliant. That's amazing. So powerful. And um, one of the other things that I find is that when the main kind of liquid on triple five, you can have tea and coffee and a bit of caffeine, but mostly it's water. So when people are used to drinking like sodas and fruit juices and all this kind of stuff, water can just be really bland for them. So is there any ways that we can use like oils to like spice it up a bit and make it a bit more interesting? Oh yeah. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So lots of oils you can add to water. So just make sure if you're drinking essential oils, you know, of course, we already said you want to make sure they're very high quality, therapeutic grade. Mm -hmm. You also want to add a little bit of honey or maple syrup to mix it around the water. And then very importantly, definitely only drink out of glass. So if you're using essential oils in the water, if it's in a plastic bottle, then the oils can, you know, start to leach away that plastic. So, mm. you know, in oh. general, we always want to drink out of glass if we can instead of plastic, but especially if you're adding essential oils, but they're great. Yeah. They're a great way just to make your water taste better. And then you also get that added therapeutic benefit of the oil as well. So I love lemon and peppermint is probably my favorite combination. Mm. A lot of people just start their day out with lemon water. Mm -hmm. So a lemon essential oil water is actually even better. The health benefits are even more powerful than the squeeze of lemon. And it's also easier, I think, too, just to drop a little lemon oil in. The citrus fresh blend, I think I just mentioned, is a blend of lots of different citrus oils and it is super yummy. I love it. And then grapefruit and or cassia oil. They both have the added benefit of curbing appetite. So not only will they make your water taste better, they can potentially curb your appetite as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And how much would you put of the lemon oil like in, like say a six ounce glass of water? I'd say one or two to when you're okay. starting out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And the other, I guess, less on the practical side and more on the emotional side is these kind of roadblocks that people face when they start a new weight loss program. They often have tried so many other programs already and feel like they failed. They haven't seen the results they want, struggling with self-doubt and is this going to work for me? Um, are there any oils that can help with that or is it only more on the practical side of stuff? No, I, I think one of the most powerful benefits of essential oils is just how they help us deal with emotional struggles. I mean, just the, the chemistry of how essential oils work in the body, especially if we inhale them through the nose, is mm -hmm. when we inhale the molecules through our nose, it goes directly through the nerve endings to the limbic system of our brain, which the limbic area of our brain is where the emotional 
seatbed is. So it's where all of our emotions get controlled from. So, I mean, they say you're, you're having a limbic moment when, you know, for example, you walk into a house and it smells like apple pie and it brings you back to this memory of, you know, making apple pie with your grandma. So it makes you super happy, you know, yes. so that's, that's like a limbic moment. And um, it's something so cool about essential oils is they can really calm the limbic system and also help you process memory. So a lot of essential oils can bring up like past traumas that have maybe been sort of hiding away in your limbic system. So it's really, it's the stories that I hear just amazing about, you know, someone diffusing, I think Cyprus is a really common one that can just bring up these past memories and yeah. um, people will, you know, start diffusing and just start crying. <laughs> and, oh, wow. And it'll bring up all these past emotions for them, which, you know, it, it might be difficult in the moment to like bring up these past things, but so cleansing to get them out of your system. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that's incredible. Yeah, I really, I just, I love it the way that they work and they, they make us feel safe, you know, so if you're smelling this wonderful aroma that's reaching that, that emotional seatbed in your brain, it just automatically brings you down to this calm space. So there's a lot of things we can do for emotions. And there's, I forget what episode we did with Dr. Carolyn Mine that's all about emotional roadblocks and essential oils. That she has a whole book about emotions. So if you're specifically dealing with fear or anxiety or, you know, hate or love or whatever, you can look up that emotion and it will tell you exactly which oil to use and where to apply it. But Ooh. yeah, it's a great book. Dr. I Carolyn want that Mine. Book. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> and uh, you can, I'll have to look up and, and post what episode we did with her, but um, anyone can go look, look through and find it. But some of the most, I'd say, popular essential oils for for emotional issues are Valor, for one. It's Young Living's most popular oil. It's also called Courage in a Bottle. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's um, known for balancing emotional effects. And it's just super grounding. Use it to greet each morning with a positive attitude or to unwind at the end of the day. There's really nothing that this oil can't do. I don't want to talk about it too much, though, because it's out of stock probably till, oh. probably till fall, at least. So it's um, the blue tansy in it is a very, very rare plant material. Mm -hmm. So they, it can only produce so much. So they, it goes out of stock really fast, but... So when it comes in stock, you got to buy a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I got a good tip. <laughs> get, get, get it. And then uh, frankincense is my personal favorite oil, I think, of all time. It's just such an elevating scent. And it's it's sort of the oil known for spirituality. So, mm. you know, a, a lot of priests will anoint with frankincense oil or mm -hmm. a lot of yogis will diffuse it in their yoga studios. And it, it just has this very calming effect and it's very spiritually uplifting. So it sort of turns your brain up to this higher frequency and allows you to tap into this like almost higher consciousness. So I know mean, I'm getting a little woo-woo here, but it really is. No. Just, oh, I love it. I want to try it. it. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Yeah. It's a great one. If you just add a drop to like your third eye right over the pineal gland, that's mm -hmm. a really great place to put frankincense for sure. Okay. I've got some. I'll definitely try yeah, it. Do it, do it. And then um, I, one that I thought of for triple five specifically is there's this oil called Believe mm -hmm. that Young Living makes. And it's a blend of Idaho balsam fir and frankincense. And it encourages feelings of strength and faith. So wow. with other complementary oils, the combination in this blend may help assist as you move to a higher level of awareness. And I just thought of your triple five uh, participants mm. with that one. I thought it was fitting. Oh, that sounds amazing. The mix of essential oils with the program sounds like it just gives people so much, such a greater chance of like success and that lasting change. It's really exciting. Yeah. And I think it would be really exciting to do the triple five program and sort of start out using the essential oils at the same time, mm. because the way that the way that the essential oils work in the brain is that it actually can help trigger positive change. So if you associate a certain smell or a certain scent with this intention, so if your intention is 
weight loss or mm-hmm. healthier eating or exercise or whatever, if you sort of pair that and associate that intention with a aroma and with a scent, then it's almost like you've got this like, I don't know, superpower or this, <laughs> uh, this like cheat way of being like, okay, I'm cheating here. I'm going to smell this essential oil and it's going to bring up that intention and give me that extra strength and courage when I need it. Oh, I love it. Sounds amazing. So you mentioned that there's grapefruit and cassia oils that are great for curbing hunger. Are there any like other oils that can help with that? Yeah. So dill oil is supposed to help with sugar addiction. So if you're specifically dealing with sugar addiction, then they say apply dill oil to your wrist. So it's not the, it's not the best smelling oil in the world, but, <laughs> um, but really good for curbing that sugar addiction. And then there's a really interesting product line that Young Living makes called the Sleek products. And I haven't had much personal experience with these, but they sound super amazing. So they make a Sleek gum And it's made from frankincense resin, which improves gum health and controls food cravings and curbs hunger. So it's like this stick of gum made out of frankincense resin and some other things in there like spearmint and some other essential oils. And um, people are saying that it's so helpful when they're having those cravings because it's not adding any calories and it's not adding anything bad, but it's just letting you chew on something that's going to help you curb that appetite. And then they also make a tea out of that same blend of essential oils. So the sleek tea and then the sleek oil blend, you can also buy separately as well. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. So those would be, I think the go-tos that I can think of for that. So I know that's kind of a lot for people to to take in and, and maybe they're not able to take notes right now. So <laughs> I'll make sure to put everything I just mentioned, I'll put in the show notes for this episode so people don't have to take their own notes if they don't want to. So we'll have that at revolutionoils.com forward slash triple five, triple the number five. So I'll have that there and I'll also have links for the triple five program for people to check out as well. So, and I hope they do. Amanda, let's just take a quick commercial break and then we'll come back in and we uh, like to ask you some of the questions that we like to ask all of our guests when they come onto the show. Great. Support for the essential oil revolution comes from Audible. Audible has over 180,000 audiobooks and spoken audio products. You can get a free 30-day trial, including a free digital audiobook of your choice by going to audibletrial.com forward slash revolution oils. If anyone listening does get their free audiobook from Audible, please let me know what you picked and how you liked it. You can always leave us a voice message on the show at revolutionoils.com forward slash connect. I think that would be super fun to hear from you all and see what kind of audiobooks you guys are getting from Audible. But enough of ads, let's get back to the show. All right, Amanda, are you ready for the closing round? Yes, sounds good. So we always like to leave our listeners with a little insight into different people's daily health routines and health habits. So what do you do, you know, every day routinely that just helps you maintain that optimal health? Oh, it's a great question. So I kind of do something on the mental health side and the physical health side, because obviously it's overall holistic wellness. So every morning I wake up and I journal. I do that every single morning. I've been doing it for the last six months and it's just amazing just to get my thoughts down and just to send to myself. And then I do something called priming, which um, I learned from Tony Robbins, who I love. And it basically what it is, is you do three minutes of explosive breathing. So it's just breathing in and out of your nose really quickly. And then you do three minutes of thinking about three things that you're grateful for. And you just like basically meditate on it. And then I do three minutes of just imagine thinking about all the people that I love and just sending love out to them basically. And then I do another three minutes of thinking about three things that I want to achieve either in my day or in the month or in the year. And I see them as if they're already done. So it's basically 12 minutes. It's really quick. And I do that every single morning. And I've seen such incredible change in my life just from just basically visualization, because as the amazing Sean Stevenson says, who I know has been on this show, that your brain doesn't know the difference between when you're visualizing something and when it's actually reality. And I just think that's so amazing. So I do that. And then I do something called incantations, which is kind of like positive affirmations, but I really put my body into it and not just, I'm not just saying like, 
I, I am enough or I have an amazing, I have amazing health or whatever. I'm actually saying it with everything in me. So I'm getting my physiology involved. And then I work out uh, five days a week. I do 30 minutes of workouts. I don't do any more than that because I don't have time. So it's normally like a Tabata style workout or like high intensive workout. And then after I shower, I have my lemon water drink, which is equal parts of apple cider vinegar and honey with a squeeze of lemon. But I think I'm going to try the essential oil with it instead Ooh, and see what that's yeah. like. Let that's me know how cool. it works. Yeah. So that's in a nutshell what I do every morning. That's wonderful. Now, I really want to look up that priming you said yeah. Tony Robbins. Is that like laid out somewhere? That yeah. Amazing. Just YouTube it. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, I will. That sounds great. Awesome. Okay. Now, finally, what's just, and I, I think I already know what your answer is going to be, but, <laughs> but we'll see. What's just one thing that we should all ditch completely and replace with something healthier today? Uh, see, I think I know what you think and I'm going to do something <laughs> different. <laughs> so I would say that the one thing I would love to see people replacing in their home is seed oils. Is that what you thought I was going to say? I thought you were going to say like, fake butter I knew or like bad fats with better <laughs> fats <laughs> close close but yeah I mean so many people have things like canola oil sunflower oil rapeseed oil in their pantries and they're cooking with it and it's so dangerous for your health people think because it's a vegetable oil it's better for you than other oils but the problem is it causes inflammation in the body and it's also when you heat it it's not stable at high heats so it changes the molecular structure and then when you ingest it it causes inflammation in the body so i would love to see people transferring over to coconut oil which is my absolute favorite oil. I know you love it as well. It's amazing to cook with, to put on your body as a carry oil, but also it's stable at high heats, which is extremely important. And it's also just got so many healing properties for the body and it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, which is amazing. And olive oil, unfiltered olive oil is amazing for your salads. You know, if, you, if you're not heating at higher temperatures, it's got so many incredible fats in it and good quality stuff. So I would say that if you can, Swap out your seed oils for coconut oil and olive oil and even ghee. Ghee is brilliant as well. And I make it at home myself. So I'd love to see. What about lard? We do a lot of oh, lard yeah. in our house. Yeah. Good fats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not, it's not very common over here, but we definitely, we definitely do the lard a lot. And I like, I love to render my own lard too. And then you get the cracklings at the bottom. It's great. Yes. Awesome. All right. Now, how can people get in touch with you and learn more about Triple Five? So the easiest way to get in touch with me is to go to my website, which is amandapickering.net. And on there, there's all also a little free video series which talks about the five foods that keep you unhealthy and can cause disease in the body so it's two hours of just free teaching which um, I've had amazing feedback on so that's my gift to you it's great yeah I've, <laughs> I've actually seen it at all two hours is fantastic yeah so amandapickering.net that's amanda p-i-c-k-e-r-i-n-g dot mm-hmm. net okay great and can people find the triple five program from there yeah now i have a really special offer for your revolution oil listeners now i've tried to make triple five as affordable and accessible as possible for everybody but i want to do a discount specifically for your listeners so i'm offering it to them for 25 percent off the standard price so if you go to triple five revolution oils dot amanda pickering dot net you can get it for 25 percent off which is 57 dollars. wow and that's triple five the number yes okay triple five revolution oils dot amanda pickering dot net that's it okay wonderful well thank you my pleasure All right. Well, thanks so much for coming and sharing and sharing all this amazing knowledge. I hope we can have you back on the show sometime too. I just love chatting with you. Oh, I loved it too. Thank you so much. It was so much fun. So as I said in this episode, if you didn't take notes, don't worry, we've got your back. We've got a very special show notes page up for this episode, which you can find at revolutionoils.com forward slash triple five. That's triple the number five. And we'll have all the details about the triple five program, about all of the essential oils that we mentioned and what you can use them for, those common hurdles that you might come across. And we'll also have a link to that special offer 
offer that Amanda gave to our listeners, which is 25% off the triple five program. So again, that's revolutionoils.com forward slash triple five. I hope that you can check it out and I hope it really helps you achieve your weight loss goals. Thank you so much for listening. You are beautiful. Keep on learning, keep on discovering, and most importantly, keep on treating yourself well. You are worth it. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you can get new episodes in your sleep. Just hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and you're in. 